Hi, and welcome to another edition of the Fuji Guys. My name is Billy. Today, we're going to take a first look at the Fujifilm XQ2. This is the direct replacement to Fujifilm's XQ1 camera. And although the camera looks very, very similar with similar controls, dimensions, and layout, uh, there are some minor updates to this camera. So we're going to take a look at uh, some of the new features on the XQ2 that are not found on the XQ1 today. Before we begin to talk about the XQ2, uh, we need to talk about some of the similarities between the XQ1 and the XQ2. Uh, again, like I said, the dimension, size, weight, and everything is pretty much the same. It uses the same battery as well, which is the uh, newer MP battery here, as you can see right here. This new MP48 actually allows the camera designers to make the camera more compact and not have to work around the older batteries that uh, the previous generations were using. Um, so let's just take a look at the XQ2. Now it uses a two-thirds inch X-Tran CMOS 2 sensor, so it's the same sensor on the XQ1. Uh, it also uses the EXR Processor 2 engine as well, which gives you some incredible image quality, as well as very fast autofocus speeds. In fact, uh, this camera has one of the fastest uh, focusing systems. It actually uses the phase, um, phase detection-based focusing system as well as contrast detection. It automatically switches between the two of them to allow for very, very fast focusing. Um, it also has the same four times optical zoom lens. Um, it is ranging from 25 millimeters to about 100 millimeters. So it's about, again, like I said, you know, four times zoom. Uh, the zoom controls are actually on top of the camera here. You got the rocker dial that goes left and right. Uh, of course, you can also configure the control ring, which is also found on the XQ1. It, uh, to uh, control the zoom if you wanted to as well. It is fully configurable. Uh, and it's just for some of the features that uh, the XQ1 had similarity with. It still offers 4HD video, uh, built-in you know, stereo microphone. Uh, you got a dedicated record button, uh, same LCD screen. So again, the XQ2 is really a minor update. If you already own the XQ1, um, I would say, you know, the XQ2 might not be for you, but if you're looking for a new compact camera that has a very good sensor on it, that it's good for low light, but also it's very compact, uh, the XQ1 would be a, a camera to look at. So let's take a look at some of the new features on the XQ2. First off, the XQ2 uh, comes in an all black, just like the XQ1 does, but there are actually two new colors. Uh, there's a two-tone, basically silver, uh, silver and um, a black as well as a two-tone white and, and silver. So again, you know, instead of having the all silver finish now, it's really just a silver topping with a black on the bottom. So similar to some of our X-series cameras, the same type of uh, X-DNA, the style and looking of it, look of it, of course. And of course, there's a new version, of course, in all white, so you can see from the pictures, uh, um, uh, the new colors that are available. But beyond that, like I said, the color's not gonna make any bigger difference in the performance. It's some of the, uh, the tweaks that have been done to the XQ2 that have been some slight improvements over the XQ1. Uh, first off is the film simulation mode. So um, on the camera itself, of course, you can shoot from different film modes, uh, from Provia, Velvia, Astia. Astia is sort of like a portrait uh, style film, it gives you a little bit softer uh, colors, softer skin tones. Um, I actually prefer shooting that a lot, but you know, there's also people who like shooting Velvia because of landscape shooting. Very, very colorful, higher saturation, higher contrast. You got your different black and white modes, but in addition to that, similar to some of the latest Fuji X-Series cameras, it now it does offer a classic chrome. So it gives you sort of that, you know, uh, street style photography, film-like look to it. It's, the colors are very subtle, it's muted a little bit, uh, and it gives it a very memorable image if you shoot with it. So it's nice to have that addition to this camera. Now, of course, there are other new features on this camera as well that we're gonna talk about, so let's just take out some of those things right now. So the XQ2 offers a very fast autofocus system. It uses a phase detection based autofocus system that's built onto the sensor itself. Very similar to how DSLRs would operate in terms of the speed of its focusing. Uh, it also has contrast detection. So it's a really smart system that switches between the two. Uh, phase detection works best when there's a lot of light. And of course, when you shoot in low light situations, uh, phase detection doesn't operate properly. And so it switches automatically to a contrast-based detection. There's also things like face, facial detection built onto this camera as well. So it can detect the face um, and of course, adjust exposure and focusing based on that as well. One of the new features, of course, on the camera is this multi-area focusing option. 
In the past, Fuji did have the, uh, the focus options like that, but it really um, only picked one square in certain areas. So now, as you can see uh, from the back here, you can actually select it so that it will determine the, the highest contrast areas and really put multiple points or multi-area points onto the screen so that you confirm uh, the focusing is absolutely correct. So that's nice to have. It's great for, you know, when you want to just pull the camera up, take a snapshot, and it really gives you a confirmation of, you know, um, the focusing, the subject being incorrectly fo focused. So again, that's a nice thing to have. Um, there's also an improved continuous autofocusing that allows you to hold the button halfway down, and it just constantly adjusts its focusing and it tracks the subject, and when you're ready to take the picture, you can obviously push the shutter button down and of course capture the shot. And even during the high-speed continuous shooting, as you hold the, uh, the, it down, it will constantly track the subject, so it constantly adjusts its focusing. So again, some of the new updates that are found on the most recent Fuji cameras are on the XQ2 in terms of its firmware capabilities. Uh, you have things like a customizable you know, e-function button here on the back of the, of, of the camera. By holding, holding that down, you can actually adjust you know, a dual functionality with some of the buttons and layouts on the back of this camera. You know, if you want to change ISO, you could. You can switch that to a different uh, option if you wanted to. Just like the XQ1, the XQ2 also has a control ring. The control ring is actually quite useful for quickly accessing some of the uh, parameters of the camera, whether you're adjusting aperture, shutter speeds, uh, zooming in, zooming out. There are different options you can select with the control ring on the back of the camera. You can configure it for several things. On the standard mode of the control ring, uh, it allows you to, of course, to, uh, it adjusts automatically to the different settings. So if you're in aperture priority, then of course the control ring is going to adjust the aperture. If you're using, using the advanced filter features on the XQ2, uh, just like the XQ1, it's going to adjust the different advanced filters, whether you're shooting in, in sort of the toy camera effect, the miniature effect, or other uh, cooler effects in the advanced filters. And of course, you could configure it to do different things, whether it, you want it to be your ex exposure compensation dial, white balance adjustments, and even your zooming in, zooming out controls. I know you have your zoom rocker on the top, but some people like to have the extra zoom down here. It makes it a little easier to, uh, to hold the camera a little more steadier. So you can do that. It's fully customizable. It's a great feature to have. And again, uh, it is the same thing that's, uh, of course, found on the XQ1. Like most devices nowadays, the XQ2 also offers uh, Wi-Fi capabilities to transfer images directly from your camera directly to a smart device, whether you're running iOS or Android. There's a free app called the Fujifilm Camera App that you can download and allows you to connect to the camera. It creates a, a hotspot onto the camera that you can connect to and wirelessly transfer images. You can also browse images that are found on this camera from your smart device and then select and download whichever image you want. Of course, that's going to make it easier to uh, share it on, on various social media sites, of course. And of course, by using a, a camera like this, you would definitely get better image quality, whether you know it offers the five times, uh, the four times zoom or the super intelligent flash that, that's used to take low light shots. It's obviously going to stand out a little bit better than your uh, standard you know, smart device. So it's great to have the built-in Wi-Fi capabilities. You can also set it up to download images uh, to your computer automatically as it connects to your home network using the PC AutoSave software that's also available. Once the, uh, the camera is turned on to the Wi-Fi, uh, the computer detects the connection and of course transfer images from the camera onto uh, a set location on the computer. So that's something that you can check out, of course. Uh, this compact camera is great to carry around with you. It's the perfect size, weight has a very good sensor on it. With the built-in flash, it's gonna take some great shots. And you know, with the ability to shoot, of course, raw, uh, it's gonna make it easier for you to adjust your settings uh, and, and pictures later on. There's even a built-in raw conversion onto the camera where you can convert raw files directly into a JPEG image and, of course, uh, share those images right away. So, you know, this is the camera that you should look for. If you already own an XQ1, uh, might not be the camera uh, for you, but uh, if you are new to uh, you know maybe upgrading from a, a smart device like a, a cell phone and wants to get a little bit better image quality, but also want the compact size, the XQ2 might be a good feature to look at. It offers things like full HD video. Um, you could even take photos during video, which is also a nice feature. You got things like, of course, motion panoramic 360 capabilities, a lot of advanced filters, a lot of simple shooting modes like the SF 
autoplus mode that determines the scene, determines the subject and scene, and of course adjusts the settings to uh, appropriately take the picture. So if you want to learn more about this camera, uh, I recommend you subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Twitter at FujiGuys. Until then, I'm Billy, one of the FujiGuys.